Recording. Uh, okay. All right. Um, let me just give this a title. I love your motto, by the way. It's like simple and easy to remember and meaningful. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's just one of those words that, that came up to my like mind when I was yeah making my Facebook page. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Check that your stream is connected. Okay, we took too long again. No, it's good. Okay. okay, it's just setting it up here. Yeah, it's also saying it's now on Facebook. It's live on Facebook. Okay, mine's still loading up. So I'll just wait a moment. Okay. Okay, we are live. Whoa. Welcome hey. to the second day of our um, Ditch the Quarantine 15 Challenge. I hope that you're enjoying this, enjoying this so far, enjoying this challenge, and um, figuring out what meal plan you're going to be using. I want to get feedback on that. So today, day two of our challenge, we're going to be focusing in on fitness. And fitness is a huge part of staying healthy as an individual, and it's got way more to do than just our physical body as well. So um, I just want to welcome you here, and thank you so much for being here today. And I'm going to introduce a very special guest that I have here on the broadcast, um, Renata Spees. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Her passion is yeah. and fitness. It's okay. and Renata, I love your motto. You know, we were just chatting about that, to stay fit and stay positive. I think it's so important here in this, you know, in this time that we're in. And... Um, Renata is a qualified fitness instructor and studied sport and exercise tech, um, tech and has been in the industry since 2000. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Yes. And so she normally teaches classes that are fully booked at Virgin Active. You have to like sign up days in advance to get in there. And um, she's the one that really gave me a passion for Pilates and started to help, you know, through that classes and through your and through your coaching, really rebuilding my own core after you know years of pregnancy and having kids and all of that. And so I'm super grateful for that. Um, yeah, she's a fantastic coach, super energetic, mom of four. And you you do everything from hit classes, burn, conditioning, sweat, low impact cardio, Pilates, yoga, all of that, all of that and more. And um, and your free time, okay, this is what really got me. In your free time, you do long distance running and triathlons. <laughs> That's awesome. That is yeah. so cool. My hat goes off to you. So thank you so much for being here. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. yeah, it's so, so cool and really inspiring. Um, maybe you can share with us a little bit more of who you are and just where you come from. Okay, so first of all, thanks so much for this opportunity. Um, well, like most of you can see, this is my um, studio for like now, since the past seven weeks, I think, since we've been in like lockdown. Um, I do most of my videos here. I do most of my videos on my like lawn in my like room and wherever I can find some uh, like Ice um, or so. Um, yeah, so a bit about me. I was born in Gauteng, yeah, <laughs> and um, they are going to like school. I always love stuff like netball and swimming. So it's been in me since I was like little. Um, yeah, and as a child, I was a big like introvert yeah so believe this um or like not and i think that was mainly because of my speech so i do used to like that's a like a lot <laughs> much much more than like now and then when I became, I think about grade six or so, I just like decided it's not gonna, it's not gonna get me um, to 
town. Okay, all right. So um, I think my big thing starts when I was in grade 10. I was the netball team's captain. And on the one day when we had a netball practice, um, the teacher never like arrived. And then I decided to give them like a netball workout myself. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think it just all sort of like swing from like there. And um, yeah, then I got a big bursary and I went to like study sport and exercise technology. Um, and I did most of my group exercise um, certificates and so through international institutes for fitness um yeah i started to work at virgin active since 2001 i think mm. um yeah i've been there for most of my uh, most of my fitness and my like in life um i've been a fitness manager before i've went up to management but it's not my thing yeah. it's not my thing i don't like paperwork i don't like um like meetings and computers and stuff like that but i love people like yeah. i just love 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 people all right um so yeah so that's me fitness wise i've been teaching at a few um like virgin actors and like places and so on um i do now and then i do one on like one um yeah and then in 2007 i think me and my um, husband decided to move down to this beautiful place where we are now in the western cape um my first baby was born in 2008 and then they came four more <laughs> wow. yeah and that's basically me and um yeah so i'm mostly teaching at virgin um Virgin Active here by me in Sun Valley, but I also teach at Virgin Active Wesley and Constantia. And I also do like mentor work for Virgin as well. So that's me that's for awesome. now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time you could just share with us how have you changed your, um, like your groups, how have you pivoted your business and your, and your personal training now that you're not able to work, you know, at the gyms? Um, look, I'm not going to lie to you. It's been a massive challenge for me. Mm -hmm. Because in the first place, I'm not used to working with laptops and computers and Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So um, I think the main idea for me came, I think the news came through the Monday that we're going to go into lockdown on the Thursday, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then um, I just decided that I need to stay connected with the people and I need to keep them positive yeah. um, because at that same like week, people became like negative and they were thinking, oh, lockdown, they can't do any like in, um, exercise, any like work cuts, um, yeah, and so on. And then my main like motto in life is if you are like fit, then you feel so much better about life. So that's why I decided to make it stay fit, stay positive. So I've started to like share with the people that I do know on my Facebook page. And I said to him, okay guys, I'm going to like start like this, like videos. And then um, they invited people, invited people, invited people. And I think I've got something like 800 people now on my Facebook page, which I love because I love people. And I love to, yeah, so people, people, and that's my thing. And it also keeps me um, positive because I know I'm making a big change in people's life in this lockdown phase. And that's why I started that. Yeah, that's wonderful. I can see that you've got a very loyal following. So I just oh, want to <laughs> know that are watching to check out Renata's Facebook group as well. Stay fit and stay positive and check out her workouts and just find your thing, you know, find your favorite one. I think Renata, many of us have lots of excuses why we don't exercise. 
Um, one yeah. of them that's, you know, maybe true for, for me, this is one of my excuses, is it's hard to find the time. Um, some other ones I've heard are that, you know, I just don't enjoy it. Um, someone told me that it doesn't work. So I was kind of digging into that one a little bit. I think that actually means, you know, like quitting, you know, you start something and then stopping. And that can be, you know, that can be a reason why we don't continue or we don't see the changes that we want to see. Maybe we're too tired. So how would you respond to some of those, some of those excuses that we all kind of maybe say out loud or tell ourselves why we don't exercise? Um, personally, I think people waste too much like in time to think about an excuse not to do a workout, if you understand what I'm saying, you know? Because people will say, okay, I'm gonna start my workout today at like five, and then comes um, half past four, and I think, no, but I wanna do this and this and this and this and this, and I'm not gonna make it. So personally, I think people waste too much like in time on thinking not to do a workout. And I think most of the people think if you're doing a work, like a work, how to have to be like sweating and like wet in your face and you have to go like running and so on but these days you've got so much um opportunities for which exercises you can actually like and do okay there's pilates yoga there's um high intensity like workouts there's um cycling clubs there's running places you know so um and i think there's more than enough hours in one day for you to spend 30 minutes on yourself and it's not only about improving the body but also your like mind and personally for me exercise it's more beneficial for the mind and for the body um then also coming back to people saying that exercise is not working for them it depends on what you want to on what you want to achieve with exercise some people want to exercise because they want to lose like in weight some people want to exercise because they want to feel you know like in good um so i personally think you have to find what is working for like the thing that is not going to work for me it's not going to work for like you and um if i can give people like advice when people think okay i'm going to start doing like an exercise on monday do not start anything on like a monday that's my advice and i don't know why rather start something on like a Tuesday, right? Mm -hmm. And people want to think, okay, I'm going to do this Monday, I'm going to do this Wednesday, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, like in work hard. So by the end of the first week, they are so like exhausted, they don't want to do exercise anymore because they start too soon, too fast, and way too like much, right? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and you just have to find what is working for you, and I think that's what. I've been trying to do on my Facebook page. I've got Pilates, I've got yoga, I've got a workout for um, people with knee injuries, for blowback injuries. Um, so, yeah. And one more thing that I can say you need to have a big variety of workouts. Okay. Do not stick to one thing because, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not going to work. No, it's not going to work. Um, yeah, and one more big tip that I can give people is to do exercise first thing in the like morning. Okay. Right. Um, so when you when you do go to bed at night, put your um, training shoes next to you. Put your training stuff next to you, and when you do get um, out of bed, put your things on and it's the first thing you need to like do because like i can promise you the rest of your day will be like amazing if you first 
if you do exercise first thing in the like morning. Um, yeah, and that's my motivation. And yeah, it's yeah, it's like yeah, that's it's so amazing. Good. And one just has to push through that first five minutes. Because usually of any like work, uh, that first five minutes is not nice. You feel much, you feel like terrible, you feel like exhausted. But once that um, happy hormone starts to like work, you feel like amazing. So yeah, I hope that can motivate a few people. Yes. Yeah, you are giving us such good takeaways, such good value. I mean, just do it first thing in the morning. Never start on a Monday and get ready the night before. I mean, seriously, this is so good. Like such practical advice. And it's even yeah. encouraging, you know, for me in a way to hear that, you know, even for you being, you know, fit and someone that values fitness, that the first five minutes, sometimes you don't know if you want to do this. You know, it's maybe not that easy. And so, you know, that's a normal thing. We just have to push through it. And five minutes is nothing. We can push through that. Do you yeah. do I have maybe some like tips as far as how we can stay consistent with exercising? Um, first of all, I think you need to find a um, exercise or a workout buddy, mm -hmm. right? That's, that's one big thing because usually the one will, will like, motivate the like next one um that's one thing that i can say and then um i know people sometimes think okay so now i'm gonna go to a pilates workout so people think okay now i first have to get like in ready i have to get in my like vehicle i have to go to the like in gym i have to book like a lesson if you're not that person, there's so many workouts these days online, right? Yeah. You can do it just there, right? Um, and then also, I've been training two ladies for probably the past year or two. And um, they've been saying to me, they would much rather spend money um, to pay me to give them a work like a workout they meet once a week in the liking park i give them their like exercise they get to meet one um another they get to see one um another and instead of paying to go and have a coffee or something, they would much rather pay me, meet one another and have a very good like workout. Um, yeah, and I think long term when you see the results of any form of like workout or like exercise, you would not want to like in stop it. Does that make sense to you? Does it yes. answer what you want to know? Answer yes. your like question? Yeah. That's really good. I mean, exercise, what I hear you saying is that exercise can be a, a social occasion as well. And when you're doing it with people that you enjoy being around, you know, that's also yes. a motivation because we, we enjoy each other's company and kind of spur each other on. So that's, that's exactly. really, really good. Um, I thought of asking you, like on a practical side, why is it important, especially in the times that we're in right now in lockdown, to maintain good physical condition? Okay, um, your like exercise got so many like in benefits. Mm -hmm. um, so first of all, let's face it, we all feel a little bit like negative now, the like moment, we're not in the mood to do anything, especially now that we get to week nine, I think, I'm not even like in sure anymore. Um, and we all know that happy like hormone called endorphins. Um, that's one of the biggest benefits of exercise. And that will make you feel so much better for the rest of your liking day. You will have much more liking energy. You will be willing and 
able to do so much like more than just lying in bed, watching Netflix, watching movie, reading like a book. And um, yes, I do it like I think in this lockdown stage, we tend to have more like sweets and chips and like we make more stuff like that. And it's so, it's so important to feel good about your health in this lockdown, like in phase. Mm -hmm. um, and if you exercise, you feel so much better about your like self. You look better and um, yeah, and you, yeah, and yes. Yes, you must do a workout. You must do like exercise. Just, just follow my like advice here. It will make you feel so much better. Yeah, and it will just get you out of that negative like mindset. It will yeah. just completely get you. Yeah, and I know they say we can walk from six till nine in the morning, but some people don't like walking. So and some people they, I mean, they can't do exercise because of different like in reasons from six to like nine in the like morning mm. but you still need to make a plan to make that 30 minutes for yourself okay. and once you are like happy then you can make the rest of the people yes. smiling so if you were gonna like because we're just starting this ditch the quarantine 15 challenge so if you were gonna yeah. give us an assignment like for the next you know few days what would it be um, if you can just quickly explain to me your, what exactly is your, is your like thing about the ditch? Just the, giving, the, like giving us all, reminding us all of the tools that we need to, you know, get healthy again around what we're eating, how we're taking care of our bodies, how we're, you know, practicing good self-care, nutrition, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, well, if I can give you some little bit like advice, and I'm not sure if I'm now, look, I know there's maybe some people listening in and they know much about food and the value of like vitamins and so on than me. But my personal um, advice is, is to the first thing when you wake up in the like morning and except for um, putting on your like exercise like in stuff, lemon juice warm like water and vinegar okay. all right put that like in down maybe the first day it's gonna feel like awkward but once you do that you'll feel so much better and um that's what i'm sort of like working on and um yeah see if you can see if you can do see if you can do like workouts with people still look i know we are all now in this like lockdown phase but we've got zoom yeah. we've got facebook mm -hmm. so you can still sort of like motivate one another socialize with one like another and the moment you you do exercise you will think much better you will think like twice before you try and take a bite of that like chocolate or yeah or so whatever funny. you have got there and then uh, if i can just promote my facebook page i've got loads of like workouts on there i think i've got 50 or 60 on there yeah. and it's a massive like variety like I say, there's spinning, there's like stretch, there's like body conditioning, there's like everything on there. That's so true. I don't think we do have like a reason not to do exercise. It's true. Okay. Well, thank you. We're going to, so that's, and that's stay fit, stay positive, right? That's the name stay of it. Stay fit, stay positive. So everyone um, can check it out. Yes. Um, for now, the page is still for like in free okay so there's no like membership fees or anything but i do um i do ask people for any sort of like donation that they can like yeah they can yes, like in, yeah. Yeah. yeah because i know people People do not have any like money now. We are in a very bad financial state. And so, so whatever you can give, 
perfect, fine. I would love that. I like appreciate that. Well, we're yeah. all eager now to get into the workout part of this. But one last thing, if you have one um, thing that you would like to leave our audience with, is there anything that we haven't covered that you'd like to share quickly? Um, I think, I don't know, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but um, if you create happiness within yourself, you can create happiness within like people, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Um, yeah, and first thing in the morning, first thing in the morning, do it first thing in the morning. Do not think too much about it, just do it, right? Okay. Before, your, before your brain figures out what's happening, get out the door. Exactly, just go. I mean, I'm teaching, um, I'm teaching a Monday morning class, um, half past five, mm -hmm. um, at Sun Valley Virgin Active, and it used to be a spinning lesson. And I promise you, sometimes I walk in there and I'm still like in sleeping. But the moment the music starts, the moment I see the people, I feel so much like in better. And it's, it's just about pushing through the first five black like, minutes. Yeah. And that's it. That's awesome. Okay, well, I've got my mat. Okay, so if you need to go to somewhere in your house, if you're watching this live, go somewhere where you can, you know, outside on your patio or in your living room, take your laptop or your cell phone and prop it up on something so you can see this. And we're gonna get, get our workout in. So um, go for it, Renata. I'm gonna just turn my camera off so everyone can see you nice and clear. Okay? Cool. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Molly. Thank you. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to give you like a few seconds to get like ready and so on. I'm going to see if I can, I'm not sure if I can make my screen better, but I'm going to move up here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a little bit of a workout. Um, I'm going to focus a little bit of Pilates, but I'm also going to more focus on Pilates conditioning, right? So it's a little bit of a mixture. I'm going to try and do a little bit of full body workout. So let's get you started. Just want to pop my thing here. Make sure you can see me because this is the best part of my day when I do any like workout, right? So I want you all to come to standing for me and I just want you to sort of lengthen your like spine. I'm just going to stand a little bit forward back here so you can see me roll your shoulders back for me and just take a nice deep breath in through your like nose and just breathe it out through your mouth and again right so deep breaths in and as you breathe in we're just going to roll the shoulders a bit and sort of keeping your knees nice and soft and opening up and round your back you get now First and the most important part of everything is, is a big smile on your face once you started this workout and you feel better, see? Right, starting with your feet together, the arms wide. I'm gonna step to my right, yes, you with me? I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna come up, and I'm gonna step together. Let's try again. Step to your right, give it a little bit of stretch, come up and back together. I'm gonna to go one more time to my right hand side. Step, step down, back together, right? From here, we're just gonna round the back and pull the knee up. And this is where I'm gonna to turn to my side so you can see me, right? And opening up your chest, round your back. Take a deep breath in here, squeeze your shoulder blades together, round your back and opening up wide. And you can already feel the body's warming up, your chest warming up, shoulders, everything. And really, right, let's go over to the other side. So from here, I'm going to step to my left. I'm going to give it a little bit of stretch. Come up, together. Let's try that again. Step, no matter how wide you go, you just work as far as the body allow you to go at this point. Let's go two more times. Take it down, take it up, and back. One more time, I'm gonna take a big step, take it down, take it up, and together again, righty. Coming up to here, 
just going to lift up on the tip of our toes and then I'm going to roll back to my um, heels. So coming up to the tip of your toes, rolling back. Now, at this point, I want you to be aware of the belly button. So belly button, I want you to pull that belly button all the way back to your spine and see if you can keep that in there for the next few minutes. So just sort of like being glue the belly button by the spine. Lengthen your spine, come up on your toes and back. And sort of just be aware of that lower ab muscles, your lower back muscles, and the shoulders go down and up. And one more time, take it up, take it down and release, right? So stepping out from here, I'm going nice and wide. I'm gonna go in what they call a squat. Now I know some people go, oh, squat, knees, knees, back, I can't, but you can. And then slowly up. So from here, if you look at me, I've got big toes up. I'm sitting down, can you see that? And then I'm pushing up, let's try this again. Sitting down, as you breathe out. Breathing in through the nose, let's try that again. Breathing out through the mouth, breathing in through the nose. We got two more to go. Stretch that arms up and try and work those legs in the glutes now. Once you come up, one more time and release. Last one, come on, I'm going to keep you down there. I'm going to keep you down there. Lift up your big toes and just sort of swing the arms up and up. Lifting up your chest and really try and like can activate the core, the legs. Ah, oh, you can feel the burn, right? <laughs> oh. Now remember that big smile on your face, so there. Two more, <laughs> one more to go, and I'm going to slowly press up from you. Right, starting to tap my right foot forward, side press, knee tuck. Forward, side press, knee tuck. Now, most of the people think this exercise is for your legs, but it's not for your legs. This is actually for your lower abs, right? So relax the legs and pull the knee up. Relax the leg and pull the knee up. We've got four more to go. One, two, and three. Perfect, nice. I'm going to lengthen the spine there. Come on. Two more, oh, oh, one more, yes. <laughs> back and release, right. Getting back to your squats again. Come on, I know you like those. Big toes up. Shift the body weight backwards. Relax the legs as you go down. Now think about this. Use the glutes, use the legs, and push up. Shh. Try it again. Relax. Toes up. And as you come up, push up. Shh. Try it again. Two more to go. That belly button still glued by your spine? I thought so. One more time. One, two, three, and press. Right. Coming back to your left leg, yes? One. Two and three. Level one people here, level two people here. Now again, relax that leg. Think about using those lower ab muscles to pull those knees up. Lengthen your spine. Yeah. Good. And come on, let's go for three more. Two and nine. So in Pilates, we breathe in through the nose, we breathe out through the mouth. One. Two and three. One more time. Two and three. And release. Right. Fingers on your legs. I'm just going to round and round a little bit. Over to the other side. Let's go quick one here. And release. Right. So now we're going to come to the end of your mat. I'm going to bend the knees here. Chin goes down to my chest. And I'm just going to sort of slide down my fingers here. Branch your back. And once you're down there, let's circle those arms a little bit. Yes. Circle those arms. And the other way around. Get. And release. Righty. From here, I'm going to walk it out. Now, you can decide if you want to stay on your knees or your toes. Up to you. Completely up to you. Maybe if it's your first time, you're not sure, you go down on your knees. You can even make a fist here if you struggle with your wrist, right? Pull the shoulders back, activate the core. Level two people, you're up there. And then we're going to walk it back again. And then I'm going to squat two times. 
One more time. Relax the legs as you go down and activate them as you come up. Last one. Relax the legs and activate them as you come up. Come with me again. Round your back. Roll down. Roll down. Roll down. Walk out the fingers. Come onto your knees or your toes. Up to you. So, toe people. You're going to pull your right knee up to your chest. You don't want to use the arms here. You want to use the core and stretch it out. Then your left leg, stretch it out. Then your right leg, stretch it out. My knee people, you are down here. You do exactly the same here. Round your back, breathe out, and see if you can get that knee to your nose, right? Because you want to use the core here. Shh. Breathe in. Shh. Breathe in. Come on, let's go for four more. Shh. Breathe in. Three more. Yes. Breathe in. Come on, you got two more. Ah, I can feel my core. Cool. What about you? Yes? One more time. Round the back. Breathe in. Ah, uh -uh. let's walk back. Yes. And we combine that with a squat again. Look forward, lift your toes, activate your legs and your glutes. Let's go again. Relax the legs, relax the arms. Take a deep breath in through your nose and one more time. Relax the legs, relax the arms. As you breathe out, walk it down. Let's go. Round your back. Right, walk it down here. And this time I'm going to come down onto my knees. Right, so. Make sure that you have your shoulders right above your breast and your hips right above your knees, right? So, pulling my shoulders away from the ears. Remember, you still have that belly button glued to your spine, right? Shifting the body weight slightly forward. I'm gonna start to stretch out my right leg, good? Left arm, touch down. Right leg, lift, curl, back, and down. Try it again. Left, curl, back, and down. Now we go, add the arm. Left, curl, back. You're breathing, breathe in through the nose, and then as you pull your knee to your chest, you wanna round your back, and you wanna feel the core, right? In, two, come on. I know you wanna go for four more. Now that you got this three your thing, right? Yes, that's it, come on. <laughs> and round the back. I wish I could see your faces now, but I know I'm connected to each and everyone that's watched this video now. One more time, round your back. And take that same leg, that same leg. I'm just gonna turn so you can see me because now most of the time people will lean sideways, but I want you to stay in the center. I want you to keep the body weight even. Lift that leg up, kick it out, back, down. One, two, three, four. You have to pull that belly button into your spine. Lose, yes, shoulders away from the ears. Nice. Still there? One, <laughs> two, three, four. Come on, pull your tummy in. I don't want to see anything hanging out. Try not to let your belly button touch your shirt. Put it away from the shirt. One more time. And I'm going to keep that leg up there. Move over to the side. When I'm getting to those um, obliques, you can make a fist here if you want to. I'm going to crunch and lift. You can make a fist here. Crunch. Then use your glutes and lift. So when you crunch, you want to activate the core, the obliques, and when you lift, you want to activate your glutes. So you want to relax the leg, and up. Yes. Come on, and up. Try not to load this shoulder, right? Woo! Let's go four more. Why not? Four more. And up. Perfect. Let's go three more. Yes. Nice and easy. Relax that leg. Two more to go. And up. One more time. Shh. Last one. Come on, I know you want to. Shh. And lift. 
and release. Take that same leg, cross it over. See what I'm doing? I'm going to give it a quick stretch here. Yeah. So before we go to the other side, we're going to lie down for a few seconds here. Yeah? It's going to move my dog. Right? <laughs> and what I want you to do is seat at first, right? So you can all see me. I hope so. Right, so feet go about shoulder width apart, the arms go down. So most of you who have done Pilates with me before, you know this exercise. Relax the arms, relax the legs. Big smile on your face, slip, deep breath in, and as you breathe out, you want to roll down, and you want to push down one vertebra at a time, making sure that you connect that belly button to your spine. First time people, you can walk it down here. Round your back, and once the shoulder blades touch the floor, place both hands behind your uh, head here. Relax your neck. I'm gonna go close the elbows and open the elbows. You're breathing. Shh. Breathe out through the mouth, breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth, breathe in through the nose. I'm not even moving my neck. It's all in my core. Four to go and in. Three to go and in. Relax your neck. Two to go and in. Come on, one more time. And in. Right in. Floating your right leg up. Round your back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Listen up. I'm going to circle from the left to the right, so we go, right leg, left leg, and then I'm gonna circle from left to right. You wanna try and relax your legs here. When you do this, it's not your legs doing the work, it's the core. So let's go, come up a little bit higher. Shh. Open, back, and down. 
do not shift the body weight slightly because this is where those intense deep oblique muscles your core muscles your stabilizers is now working to keep yourself in the center my glute is working yeah <laughs> up stretch back down relax the shoulders stretch it out back come on i'm going to be formal i know you want to one two three four yes Breathing is so important. Two more to go. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Left that leg. Remember, we stretch it up over to this side. The obliques now. Crunch and lift. So each time you crunch, you work the side abs. Each time you lift, you relax the leg to you use your glutes. And in. Come on. Yeah. Breathe out. Breathe in. No. Opening up your chest. Remember in Pilates, it's so much about the posture, the um, alignment of the muscles, the bone, the body. It's so much more to focus on than on any workout. Four more to go. And, and come on, just give me three more here. Shh. Breathe in. Yes. Two more. Yes, let's go. One. Yeah. <laughs> Last one. Crunch. Keep it up. Point and flex. Eight. Seven. Open your chest. Six. Yes. Come on, give me four more. Four, three, two, one, archie, arch, over to the side. Amazing stuff, everyone. Good. And release, come back here, right. So I'm gonna take you down to the floor one more time, yes? Coming down to the back. So in Pilates, we do lots of shoulder breach work. We, we actually lie down, and then we're gonna start to roll up from the bottom of your spine, one vertebra at a time. So slowly roll up. Yes, nice. So feet and knees is very important. If you have a look at my feet and my knees, it's not doing this. My knees stay in line with my middle toe. Yes, no, got it, let's go. My rib cage is higher than my shoulders. Relax the shoulders. Step the feet in a bit, right? Easy up from here. I'm going to lift my right leg. I'm going to kick it out. And I'm going to go one, two, three. Keep it up. Lower and lift. Yes. One, two, three. Lower and lift. Yes, no. One, <laughs> two. If you can't manage this one, you stick with both feet on the floor and you just squeeze your bum for me every time. The rest of you, let's go two more sets. One, two, three, lower, left. One more time. One, two, three, lower, left. Swap legs. Let's go. One, two, Three, lower, lift. Keep your rib cage higher than your shoulders. Squeeze the bum, squeeze the bum, squeeze the bum. Lower, lift. Yes, come on. Whoop. Yes. Two. Woohoo. I know you want to go for three more. Yes. Your belly button still glued to your spine. That's two more, right? One, <laughs> two. Three, lower, lift. Last one. One, two, three, lower, lift. Put your feet down. Come up onto the tip of your toes here. Now give me 20 squeezes with your bum. Pinch your bum. Pinch your bum. Pinch your bum. Pinch your bum. Come on, where are we? We're going to lift the arms up here. Pinch the bum. <laughs> Pinch, come on, higher. Squeeze, 10, 9, 8, count with me, Woo. 6, I can't hear you, 
it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Put your feet down. Round your back. Slowly down. And two. Pull both knees up to your chest. And release. Good. Just rock from side to side. And release. Right. Just roll up. Quick stretch. Now, how bad was that? That was 20 minutes. It's twist the side while I talk. That was 20 minutes of workout right it was an almost full body workout it was fun right you survived right it wasn't that bad right good so what's your excuse not to do any exercise yes right elbow cross legs listen up left the elbows my chin go down my shoulders go down let me just stretch the neck and the shoulders there a bit right and then opening up, opening up your chest, chin goes down. Are we ready for the other side? Left, cross right. Elbows up, chin down. And release. Right, we're gonna open up the legs, just give it a quick stretch there. Are we gonna do a pulse? I'm just gonna move my dog again. <laughs> pulse, pulse, feet together, pulse, pulse. Open up the legs, slide it, one, two. Close the legs, one, two. Last one, come on, one. Oh. A little bit of flexibility, right? In, in, and release with the feet together. You're gonna try and get your nose down to your toes. Let's try it. Push your knees down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go for me. And slowly up from here. And most important to finish off this workout, right, is to give yourself a big hug. I could. So thank you to the mind, thank you to your own body, and thank yourself for making this time for yourself right good so this was just a very quick pilates workout 20 minutes i think you can see me now again right so yeah that's me good i don't know if you if you want to get back to me molly <laughs> but i'm not sure if she's now on the other screen yes i'm still here no that was so you made it yes thank you so much i've missed this big time so thank you, Renata. Uh, my hair is all wild now. That was a lot of fun. I appreciate you so much. And um, thank you so much for your input and your, just the value that you put into this group of, of men and women. We're so grateful. Thank you so much. And thank you for the opportunity for y'all for today and I'm yeah I'm like happy if I could have give you something to like work to um yeah because I think um that's my big like passion in life is obviously to like exercise and so on but the people keep that passion alive with um in me yeah so that's why i miss the people i miss the people but yeah we just have to make it work for now <laughs> yeah well that's beautiful you really are connecting with your people through this through through the workouts online so you're doing it thank you so much thank you so much molly and thanks for you as well and for all your work you're also doing for people with um like food wise and stuff like that i think they're really benefit official for them and as well because i know you're also a very busy mom of six well done for that <laughs> yeah, well somehow we do it huh it's worth it yeah yeah i know for sure it is so yeah <laughs> cool well enjoy your day renata we'll see you over in um stay fit and stay positive yes thank you so much hey you must all have a beautiful day and i'm sending you all lots of love and i'm sending you all big big boxes full of like in full of like in energy and just remember do not think of any excuse not to do a work 
I'll just go and I can do it. Right, good. Thanks so much, Molly. I'll speak okay. to you soon. Hey, okay. I'll chat soon. Have a good day. Bye. Bye, bye. See you.